up and racing your flippers. And Daisy's winning. Is that funny? Do you want me to take them out so you can wear them? Did you like that one? Yeah? Excellent, Oscar. Did you just put another one on? You're doing so well, aren't you? What an intro. You can see me just through the steering wheel. Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day number six. I am not winning at life today, let me tell you. Wow, so it's 10 a.m. Everyone woke up late, Spencer's poorly. As I said to you, my sister was in hospital yesterday. She's still there, update. They still don't know what's wrong. Um, so she's going for scans and all sorts. So that was playing on my mind as well as Spencer being poorly. So yeah, we were all up late, went to school, forgotten that I had to take a Tupperware pot for Oscar. So I had to go back home and then back to school again. Then I came home and then I thought, oh, I'll just sort the washing out and then put my makeup on. Then I'll go to my appointment that I've got this morning at 10 o'clock. And then I realized I had to package up my Dyson air wrap because I've sold that. So I had to like disinfect that, clean that. <laughs> oh, good Lord. And then just as I was leaving the door, I realized I don't have my car. My husband has my car. So he has the base for the car seat in his car. So the car seat in this car that I'm in, which is really loud, because it's like a flipping boy racer car. The car seat for this car was upstairs in the spare room. It was a, an old one we had for Oscar and it wasn't put together. So I had to put all that together and then I noticed the straps on it are like moldy. I mean, it has been washed, but you can't really get mold out, can you? Because it's been in the loft for so many years. So now I'm like going to my appointment with mouldy car seat straps. I've got no makeup on, not that I'm really bothered about that, but oh goodness today. Anyway, today's agenda. I don't have much on today. I've got to catch up on my editing, of course, and just general tidying around the house and also sorting out some of the Christmas presents I bought yesterday. So the agenda for this video today is to show you my baby gift guide. So that's gonna be really cool. You obviously would have seen the bits I bought from B&M for the fillers um, yesterday. And yeah, that's it really. I'm still waiting for my wrapping paper to arrive. I got the tags and the string and everything yesterday but I'm still waiting for the wrapping paper to arrive. So that's going to arrive hopefully today. So then hopefully tomorrow's vlog will be a wrap with me, or maybe not actually. I was tagged by um, Gillian, Tru I'm sorry Gillian, I can't say your surname. Treat Trita, Trita, I don't know. Anyway, Gillian T. I was tagged by the lovely Gillian um, to do a Christmas tag video, which actually I'm really excited to do. So I might film that today to go live over the weekend. That's it really. So sorry about the absolute terrible angle and sorry about the noisy car. But that's, that's what's happening with my day so far. But it's not all bad. It's okay. I'm actually out the house kind of on time. I've got two minutes to go to my appointment and I'm about two minutes away. And I will see you home when I'm home to show you my baby gift guide. Hello baby, are you talking to the Christmas tree? Are you talking to the Christmas tree? Are you feeling better, snotty boy? He's actually fine during the day, it's just at, like at night, he gets really stroppy. Are we gonna show everyone what you bought, what we bought you for Christmas? Are we gonna show everyone what we bought you, are we? Yeah. Sorry about that monstrosity of an intro. Oh my goodness, he is shouting today. So yeah, I'm sorry about that monstrosity of an intro this morning. I was so rushed off my feet, but I will eat my lunch. I'm gonna eat my lunch. I've literally got the most boring lunch. I've got pre-prepared barbecue flavored chicken breast and then leftover veg from last night's dinner. Um, but healthy nonetheless. So I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'm gonna run through with you all the bits we bought Spencer for Christmas so far and then what we intend to buy. So kind of like a baby gift guide, 
but kind of also just showing you what we've got and why we've come up with the ideas that we have. Channel Spencer is three months old, so obviously he has no idea it's Christmas, doesn't really need anything as such. And one of my lovely friends, Corinne, said to me the other week that she's she's got a baby that's about a month or two older than um, Spencer. And she said uh, that she was getting her son some weaning bits. So I thought, what a good idea. I already knew I needed to get Spencer a high chair. So his main present is going to be a high chair. Now I say is going to be, I thought I'd ordered it. I said to my husband, has the, the, um, the kid's main presents and the high chair arrived yet? And he was like, no, what card did you buy it on? And he had a look, he's like, you haven't ordered it. <laughs> so I went into my basket and I hadn't ordered it. So I am going to order it. Um, I'm really, really excited about the high chair that I've got. It's one that I've never heard of before. And I literally just stumbled across it when I Googled high chair and I loved the style of it. I don't think I've seen anyone with it. Um, so it is really, really beautiful. And what makes it even better is it isn't even that expensive, but I will probably do, I will show you like when it arrives, I'll do like unwrapping it and like putting it together and stuff like that because what I'm hoping is by Christmas day I'm hoping he can hold his head up a little bit more and I can stuff some blankets down the side and he can sit at the Christmas um, dinner table with us so I'm really looking forward to that so on the idea of weaning I came across an amazing website called Kidly I will link their website down below I will also link every product I show you in this video that website is absolutely fantastic. I'm not sponsored to say that, I haven't, it's not an ad or anything. I just came across it and I thought, oh my goodness, like the stuff on there is just beautiful. So I'm gonna go through all the bits I bought from them first. I don't have prices of things whilst I'm showing you this video, uh, but I will link everything below. So if you wanna know the price of each item, just click on the link and follow it to there their page. So the first thing I got was for Spencer's pram. Now he will be going up into the seat of his pram. He's got an eye candy and there's a little bar that goes across the front. And we had a toy like this for Oscar. I'm just gonna open it. So it's a spiral toy that will go across the bar and the colors are just gorgeous. So this little mustard, I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's got a mirror on the front. Is it like an orange or a clementine or something? Like half open with a mirror on the front of it. And this little badger here has got some texture to it. Is it a badger? A raccoon? I don't know. Yeah, a raccoon. And then this here, I'm not sure what it is, but it's got a wooden hoop on the bottom and it's greys. And I just love the muted tones on it. I'm very conscious of colours since having Spencer. I think like the bright like greens, reds, yellows and blues. I just don't particularly like that much. Baby's just woken up, so I'm gonna have to go see to him. But that is the first gift we have bought Spencer for Christmas. So we are back, aren't we Spency? You've just woken up, haven't you? I'm gonna say hello. Hello, hello. Wow, you look very grumpy today. So Spencer has got a bit of a cold, so he's a little bit grumpy, but considering he's got a cold, he's in really good spirits. This is about the only time you could get away with showing your baby, your child, their gifts before Christmas day, right? Because he's got no idea what's going on. The second item I got for Spencer, I absolutely love, and I've seen a lot of Instagram companies selling these, was this beautiful teether. So it's a wooden ring with these colored beads on it, and it's like a turquoise and a green. Yeah, a turquoise and a green. And I just really, really love that. I think it's so beautiful. And he is gonna be getting into that teething sort of stage soon. And I just think aesthetically, there it is, you can see it outside of the box. Aesthetically, that is just gorgeous. So I really like that. So the next few items are weaning products, like I said I was going to do. I think Spencer's actually falling asleep sat on my lap. Bless him. Well, he's quite happy sat on my lap, so. Yeah, the next thing I got was a um, weaning item, and it is a long-sleeved bib in this gray and white arrow print. The things they had on there were so beautiful. I don't think I saw one thing that was garish or like not very nice. 
Um, so he's gonna need a long sleeve bib. Obviously it had to be grey, because Vicky loves grey. Um, but I got that and I really liked that. So this next item has to be one of my favourite, and of course it is grey again. Um, and it is this bunny sticky plate. So it's got three sections on it. So you see the black diagram there, that's what it looks like. And it sticks to the tray of the high chair. And it's a bunny and it's grey. And I just really liked that because I'm gonna do sort of part baby lead weaning with Spencer. So I thought little bits of chopped up food in each section that he can grab um, will just be so nice. And honestly, they had so much, I could not, it took me ages to choose that design. There were so many designs, but I just thought the grey bunny was super, super cute. The next item I got is not so Instagrammable, but very practical, and that is a first feeding set. So it's got the really wide grip spoon, and also it's got um, this bowl with a lid on it, which sticks to the tray again. So really useful for weaning. So if you've got porridge or anything in there, um, that's a really, really useful gift, and I just thought that was very practical. Obviously, if they had it in grey, I would have got grey, or if they'd have had a more muted blue, I would have got that, but hey-ho, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to all be grey, does it, Vicky? Maybe it does. <laughs> but um, yeah, really love that. The next two items I got from B&M. So I got them when I went to B&M the other day. First one was this newbie teether. So it's one that they can just hold in their hand and gnaw on. And that was £2.50. And I thought that, again, it's a teether. And although it's not as attractive as the other, that might be a good one to take out and about with us and pop it in the bag because it can be sterilised quite easily, that one, because it's obviously made out of rubber or plastic or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a really, really good buy from B&M. And the next thing I got, I thought, I thought Spencer is going to want some sort of toys when he gets to about six months. But I hadn't, there was nothing that really took my eye in B&M. Everything was like plastic and garish and like loud and massive. And we don't have the space until we do our extension. And I thought I'll just hold off until he's actually showing interest in toys. But I did see these and I really liked them. So they had these sensory balls. So they're all sorts of different textures, different colors. Um, and they were 3 dollars looking at them now. Look, do you like these? Do you like these? Do you like the look of those? Cause they're bright colors. Do you? Well, they're a winner. But I thought if I popped those in a little basket, when we do do playtime, I can just get them out. They don't take up loads of room, but I think he'll really enjoy kind of picking them up and sticking them in his mouth. So I seem to get through those really, really quickly. So my baby gift guide would really be to buy things that are practical, that are gonna help you in the long run, like the high chair, like the weaning stuff, because you're gonna have to buy them anyway at some point in the future. So don't waste money on toys that really they're not interested in. Obviously if your baby's a bit older then you will want to buy toys and there will come a time when I will be buying toys for the house but um, really those are the bit, bits that we've got that I find that will be very practical. Things that I maybe would hesitate spending money on ordinarily because I'd be like why would I spend that much on a plate when I can get one from Ikea for this price. But because it's Christmas and he's my child, it's almost like an excuse to buy those nicer bits because they're gifts. So my advice would be, as I say, get things that are practical, but also maybe those more plush things that you like the look of. So I am gonna go ahead and buy him his high chair. And when I get that, I will show you guys. So I'm gonna end the vlog there. Thank you so much for watching Vlogmas Day 6. Again, I'm sorry if it was a little bit short. I've been a little bit up in the air the last couple of days, what with having my sister in hospital. So hopefully the next few days we'll go back into the swing of things. But please tune in for Vlogmas Day 7. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video and you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and I will see you all in the next video.